My name is Todd slash Fox. My name is Chuck. Rock on the block from the street to the stage. Too long didn't read. Seriously, dude? It said, How hairy is Chuck? That's what did it really? Was. How did that. <laughs> How hairy is Chuck? Yeah, you did, you did that on purpose. That's him. You did that on purpose. This one. This you one right here. That? Yeah, I did it. Oh, God. So well, now you get to answer you that one. You just like you ain't got the, I, know, the freaking... I, I know, but yours is like, got me beat, though. I can braid it. If this ends up with you guys being naked, I'm leaving. Dude, Aww. I'm okay with that, though. Aww. So answer the question. I don't know. I've never seen Chuck naked. We have to put a parental advisory on the YouTube for young kids who don't want to see my hairy butt. Um, <laughs> I am so hairy that is disgusting. Drop a quick freestyle about the legend of Zelda. What could you, what could you even say, oh, man? Zelda is not the name, it's Link. That's the game, princess. I came to save Zelda. Don't put her in no grave. I'm from Hyrule because I rule. Word. <laughs> Ooh, Batman or Iron Man? Who's better? Ah, there you go. They're both ingenious because pretty really much Tony Stark used very crude metals to actually keep himself alive. The only advantage that Iron Man would have is the fact that he has a suit and projectiles and. Wait, but Batman doesn't have a suit. He doesn't. <laughs> He has a suit, but it's not made of like you know metal armor, and he can't necessarily. Fly. Batman's suit is it made of metal armor? Doesn't allow him to somewhat fly. Well, I doubt that he can actually go. Into Have you seen Batman? I'm just curious. <laughs> I doubt he can go into the stratosphere. True. Right. Right. Because he'd be a bat pussy. Which really, Iron Man is not. They they overpowered him like in the movie. You know, they changed it up. You know, they changed it up so he's flying up into the sky where he's freezing. You know, but Batman. <laughs> Swear to me! <laughs> Riddle me this. <laughs> Would you kill and eat a bad person for a million dollars if there was no legal ramification? How much of this person does one have to eat? Just a dick. Oh, great. Not for a million dollars. Let's just say, uh, like an arm. <laughs> An arm? You know? I should have specified. You're right. I should have been yeah, more clear. Yeah, I mean, do you have to eat the entire body? Because you know. Well, you know, slowly over time, it is a million dollars, dude. Come they on. talked about freaking, you know, alive. They talked about eating the the butt, the, the ass, the butt parts, ass the, meat. The other parts of the body were so tough that they couldn't they couldn't eat it really. I'd eat a person. <laughs> I do that anyway. I do well, that for I mean, free. The, the real question is, do I have to eat them raw or can I cook? You know, the, the question leaves it open for interpretation. How about that? That is a good question. Because, I mean... Human sushi? That just sounds terrible. It does sound bad, but, if, you know, what? I've eaten... A Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a second. So he's grossed out by the idea that it would be raw. Yeah, you don't eat raw he, meat. He's not grossed out by eating a human being. He's grossed out by it being raw. Let's you just make sure... You said you were a bad person. That's all that matters. Can I eat Kim Jong-il? <laughs> and his shitty haircut? Oh, no, not ill. Oh. Ill is already, he was ill, now he's, he's, no, he's oh. no longer with us. Oh. Oh, oh, wait. Kim he's dead, so yeah, technically yeah. you could. Yeah. It's Kim, Kim Jong-un. I don't know, he might be able I, to... I don't know if there's, how exactly they would stop you from doing that. I'm sure he's a little ripe by now. Yeah, yeah he's got to be like maggot, uh, maggoty. Oh, that would be even worse. Maggot. Unless, the, unless they did like, you know, put him on display and stuff. They might have like, yeah, they might have like made a corpse sickle out of him, you know, put him in a mausoleum somewhere. Or something. They're just waiting to bring him back. He's still in the Walt Disney doll. Yeah, cryo freeze. Oh, yes. Shaved, trim, bush, or all natural. What is this? What is this even? What? Well, for myself, like, I'm not gonna like have anything sharp near my genitals. <laughs> Manscaping. No. Manscaping. Do not believe in it. Nobody wants to. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that, that anything that you do, Chuck, is going to be undone within the next day. Oh, that's uh, just because my beard grows so fast. But yeah, I really don't have a preference on my partner. Right? Oh, that's whatever cool. She, whatever she does. It's got to be wild and long and untamed, man. I want long. dreadlocks down there. That's what I'm I'll pass on dreadlocks. <laughs> you, want, you want a free, you want a very 70s. An afro pops out. You know? Gary Coleman. <laughs> the, kind, the kind of bush you could lose your car keys. <laughs> oh, oh man. I think I think you gotta you gotta keep your stuff nice, son. 
Gotta keep it nice, son. Gotta get over here. Gotta keep it nice, son. Opinion on Banksy. I think he's a great artist. Exit through the gift shop is very entertaining. Anybody who defaces, you know, like Disney rides, I'm all for it. <laughs> But, uh, right here is episode one, yeah. and you can click here. But not the Phantom Menace. <laughs> ah, describe your circumcision. Fox, describe your circumcision, please. <laughs> well, what they had to do is they had to first prop me up in the bed like this, and then had to pull out a wheelbarrow because my dick is so big, even as a baby. The doctor was shocked and awed. He thought I was a pure freak of nature. Because in, even like right now, if I wasn't wearing shorts, I could prop myself up leaning forwards. A pair of hedge clippers and just go at it that way. It was not a very delightful situation, I barely remember. My circumcision was a horrible, horrible experience. It was heartbreaking. It was terrible. My tiny little winky, it can't even, it can't even right now. He wants his little turtleneck. And it's gone. And he wants it back. Okay, I'm done. Who would you bring back from the dead knowing you had to live with them for the rest of your life? Jesus. There you go. <laughs> Could you just imagine how bad that would be to take him to parties? Like, guys, watch this. I'm going to die for a few minutes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Jesus came back to life, though. Again, you know. He's not dead. Well, no. He was already brought... But he, his, his body is no longer here, right? Because he's gone up. You, you, you failed at this answer. <laughs> Trying to bring a, a strain of, of religious brevity to our constant stream of offensive sex questions. There you go. There you go. <sighs> no. He would probably be a hit at parties. We haven't gotten to that card yet. He turned water into wine? He'd be... I can just imagine him playing beer pong and throwing the pong like through... I always imagined him like going on Vegas. And like, like the Penn and Teller, you know, uh, um, you know, kind of show, you know, like, why they're in the wine! I just imagine Jesus being a terrible magician. He'd go do like the slide, slide of pan thing, and the pin fly out of the back and of the The quarter, when you like, like, oh, where's the quarter? Oh, went through my hand. Oh. <laughs> Can you do this? You guys are gonna burn in. I would bring back H.R. Geiger so we can just draw dicks on everything. He was a genius, though, for sure. Yeah, his he, art. He, he, he took nope. the dick drawings to a whole new level. I mean, if you ever look, if you ever get a chance to look through his book, man, you should. Dicks for everywhere. Real. All kinds. <laughs> it's wild. A big sea of cocks. Should we be legalized? Smoke 20 blaze it, son! What, what? Thing. This is coming from the straight edge kid that doesn't do nothing. All right, I don't do it either. I think that we should be legalized. Uh, that's because there's too many families that are ruined because of it, and the whole like Mexican drug cartel. Cause that shit's crazy. Like seeing pictures of like people just laying around with all their shit just flying everywhere, like limbs here, there, <sighs> and just like heads all over the place. I mean, I mean, I, I think it's going to be. I really, I really think. Thanks, this is Obama. This is the way that things are going. No, for real. This is the way that, I mean, they're doing it in Colorado and Washington. Except in Georgia, where they discussed, could you bring a gun to church? So, you know what, You know what, Georgia? You can shoot your pastors when you disagree with them. Are the borders around Finland actually finish lines? Are they? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> I guess since they're in Finland, they would be finish lines? There are lines around Finland. I could finally win a race. <laughs> Wrote a marathon and just be like, I crossed the finish line. I made it! <laughs> just all pouring and sweat all everywhere, like in them really tight, like 1970s gym shorts. The, the real short ones, and the, the sweat would lift from all over your body. Yeah, it's like, ooh, ooh. Sweat everywhere. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. They are indeed finish lines. They define the country. Who do you prefer? Biggie Smalls or Tupac Shakur? And why? Biggie, 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 can't you see? I don't know, man. That's what I'm calling I'll be honest with you. I really don't listen to either of them that much. Well, because one of the reasons why I don't like Biggie is because of fucking Puff Daddy. Oh, that's... That was my answer. That's not fair. Uh, that's not fair. No, 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 no. Whenever you take something is like from wherever the lost, the lost poets, everyone says that Tupac's a really cool dude, but he was a very misogynic turd. 
I didn't treat women correctly, so fuck two people. Wow, I, I really don't want to read the comments. They're going to be on this and, one uh, now. Comment below. <laughs> you know, anyone that's like, that beats women is a piece of shit. So furthermore, fuck two people. Man, if you'd have been Jay-Z in that elevator, you'd want to beat a woman, too. Well, I guess Jay-Z found his, his, that one problem. <laughs> now he's got, you know, he's got the baby, he's got Beyonce, and some large, that's like 99, 100, 100, 100, 2. And a bitch I mean, is one. <laughs> yes! <laughs> or three. I, I like to separate Biggie from Puff Daddy and just think about him as an artist. I'm getting shot. He was awesome, on his own. And Puff Daddy saw that. And that's why the world knows his name, you know, not just because he got shot. But the whole East Coast, West Coast rivalry between them is total bogus. I think that Pac, because of his ties with Digital Underground, that's, that makes me love him, you know. That makes me... I completely forgot that he was in Digital Underground. You know, I, I cut, cut the Diddy part out from Biggie, but I, then I bring in the... <laughs> the Digital <laughs> the Underground. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. That is kind of a double there. standard there, son. But he was, he, I felt like he was more of a poet. Biggie's up there, you know, two pockets. <laughs> but have you seen the actual thing where they uh, broke down the rappers that use like, such a big vocabulary? Biggie and Tupac are right here, and fucking ICP is ahead of them. <laughs> Magnets. How, How do they, they work? work? <laughs> but I will say this: though, Aesop Rock has the most unique vocabulary oh, currently yeah. out of a lot of different artists, except the Wu Tang Clan. You have to cut off one arm or leg. Which one and why? Because of my health issues, I would remove my left leg. I'd still be able to, yeah, you'd still be able to function with just one guitar, leg. Guitar, piano. You'd still be able to play guitar, piano, yeah, yeah. Pretty much drums. <laughs> the guy from Def Leppard played drums with one arm, so. <laughs> I think I'd have to go for my left leg, too, because of my right leg and my kicking leg. <laughs> but if you don't have the other, you can't kick. You can if you got crutches. <laughs> what, what situation are you in? Well, you got to kick somebody with your Do you? With your own crutches. Do you ever walk down Ellis Street? You got to kick. Favorite horror movie? The Miley Cyrus movie. <laughs> Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Right now, currently, I'd say Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods. That's kind of a sci-fi, man. It's not. I know, but, it's the, not thing, but the thing about this though is taking all the elements it from the classic horror movies, yeah. except for except for the Merman. I fucking love the Merman. That's my favorite one of the whole thing. Cause the guy's like, no, no, not the Merman. <laughs> Spoilers! Oh, oh that's spoiler, right? Comment below. <laughs> Anything that Del Toro does, Guillermo, Guillermo, I can't even say his name. Cemetery Man beats them all. Cemetery Man is awesome. Right. Kazam! With Shaquille O'Neal. Oh. Who killed Tommy's boy? That's enough. I don't even know what that is. Probably Tommy Boy Records. Should night. He, <laughs> he killed know. everybody else. I don't know. I think they're still trying to figure out what, what happened to Chris Farley. <laughs> I think they probably know at this point. Quote your favorite hip hop rhymes. Do you have a favorite? Burr! <laughs> Burr. Your mom is so fat. How fat is she? Your mama is so big and fat that we can get busy with 22 burritos. But kind of rump. I seen it in the back of Taco Bell with handcuffs. Face fat. Your mama smoked crack. She got a burning yearn and then there's no turning back. Her knuckles drag down to the ground when she walks. Spit comes out that big mouth when she talks. Naked on a mountaintop, tooting on a flute, riding on a horse, drinking whiskey out of boot, got the wings and teeth of an African bat. Her middle name is Mudbone, and on top of all that, your mama's got an afro with a chin strap. What is your favorite curse? You would do this to me. You would do this to me. Hamster biscuit. Shit fuck. That's two. You can't have two. It's a compound word. It's a compound no, word. Think no, about no. it. Someone getting fucked. You could just shit. combine them all together then. No, that would just say them all. You couldn't say shit. Oh, fuck, you fuck, pussy shit, motherfucking. You goddamn. See, I imagine it as a person trying to fuck a piece of shit. Oh. On that point, I'm gonna throw up. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Please, Please like, rate, subscribe, comment, kill your parents. You said that the very death metal. We should start a band like. Do your parents. There you go. Yeah. Kill your parents, kids. No! You're right. You're pushing me out of the frame. You see that? <laughs> Getting violent with me now. <laughs> there you go. You're poking me in the face. I did it on purpose. Oh, that was a big punch. <laughs> Asshole. Why you hit a guy with glasses? Now the question is which one of you I was talking to?
<laughs> oh, watch it.